Hey everyone, this is Tarek from Park Avenue LASIK. I'm the patient coordinator seeing Better Than 2020. We're here today with Dr. Chin and one of our patients who also happens to be a doctor. And she happens to have a couple of questions for us that uh, we tend to hear a lot of our, cons our other consults has for us. So without further ado, I'm going to give you Dr. Chin. What's you doing? Okay, so what's your question? Okay, the, uh, my question is regarding to the uh, alcohol use, the PRK, the procedures, LASIK, Abby LASIK and the LASIK, all the terminology. Okay, it's a good question. Okay, so a lot of people think that what we're doing because we're discarding the epithelium is a PRK. It's not true, okay? So PRK is you, you take off the epithelium, you scrape it off, it's a full nightmare. I used to do that, it's horrible and it's painful, it causes inflammation and scarring, okay? It's because when you're taking off the epithelial cells in the fashion where you're taking off piece by piece by piece by piece, you could look at it visually and you see it's 10 pieces. Microscopically, you killed a million cells, okay? So when you're crushing all the cells, they release cytokines, and those are inflammatory mediators, as you know, because you're a physician. That causes inflammation and pain. The key difference between all these procedures is not whether you put the epithelium or skin back. It's how you take it off, okay? So when you do a lay sec, you're using a, a solution of alcohol, and there's some bullshit on the internet that uh, a higher concentration is worse and a lower concentration is better. I'm telling you it's bullshit because you're, you're taking those things and you're, you're delaminating with the alcohol. It stays within the ring if it's done properly, okay? And then you're throwing that out anyway. So if you throw that out, it doesn't matter what concentration you use to take it up and put it back. That stuff's winding up in your garbage, and then the skin has to grow back, and that's what, what's the healing involved with the LASIK. Uh, LASIK, you take up the epithelium after you cut the cornea, and, and it comes back, so you're not really killing the epithelium, and that's why the recovery is so quick. However, you get uh, glare and, and, and night glare halos and uh, dry eyes, ectasia. These are, I had LASIK done myself. I did five, about five to 10,000 LASIK, so it's not like I haven't done it. I moved away from LASIK to surface. It's called back to the surface because it's a, it's a safer procedure, okay? So basically, uh, we used to put the epithelium back, okay? When I first was doing LASIK or epilasic, I was putting the epithelium back, but because you use the alcohol solution, it's, it's halfway dead, okay? So half of those cells are dead. The, uh, on slit lamp, which is the little microscope we use when we look at the eye, that tissue is a little bit gray, okay? So when you put it back and you look on slit lamp, instead of being transparent, it's a little bit gray. So not only is it a little bit dead, it doesn't help the vision at all because it's a little bit gray, okay? So uh, the reason uh, me and the top surgeons in the world no longer put the epithelium back is we were trying to put it back, and occasionally when we take up the epithelium, it came off in a couple pieces and we couldn't really put it back, and then we just threw out the epithelium. And then on the post-op day, like post-op day one, we would check. Okay, and we were going to think, like intuitively, I thought, and all of us thought, okay, the, the eye where the epithelium is back would be like a little bit blurrier because, the, again, the, the skin's a little bit hazy, but it'd be more comfortable because at least they have skin. The other side, the vision would be a little bit better, but it'd be painful. That's not true, okay? Well, we found out coincidentally, and they always say, uh, 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 what is it, the mother invention is, uh, what is it, uh, accident or something, or whatever, okay? So... We found out that the eyes where the epithelium wasn't put back were more comfortable, too. The reason is the epithelium's dead, okay? So it's not serving any purpose, okay? And then also, uh, other, other scientists have done radioisotope labeling, where they actually uh, radioisotope label the epithelium cells with a fluorescent dye, and then it fluoresces, and you can see how long the, the cells are there and how long it takes to, to replace. Uh, when you put the dead epithelium back, or the halfway dead epithelium back, it takes like almost a month for that to be almost fully replaced. It takes forever because, the, you know, it takes a month for me to get new skin on my, my, on my hand too, okay? The other eye, because there's no epithelium to begin with, it only takes a few days. It takes a few days for brand new epithelium to come. So the reason I switched from putting it back is because I, I used to put it back and the recovery was slower and painful. And when I threw it out, it just recovers much cleaner and quicker uh, and that's why we do it that way, okay? And then epi, I could really put the epithelium back with epi because it comes off so nicely with no alcohol and it's not even dead at all, okay? So again, I was doing that. I was putting the epithelium back. And then again, we did a trial. We're going to try to publish these results because other doctors want to know about our results, okay? But again, when we put it back, the recovery was quicker and better and less painful. Uh, 
when we didn't put it back and when we threw it out, okay? And I was just at a lecture that I gave at uh, Ascaris in San Francisco. There were thousands of doctors there, and I was invited. I was only one of ten doctors to talk about surface ablation, because in the world I am getting famous on surface ablation, okay? So there was another doctor in Korea, and she was also doing thousands of surface ablations, and she presented, and she called her, you know, we have to tell the other doctors quickly the air techniques, and she called it, um, flap off epi. Flap off epi just means that she's doing an epi and she's throwing out the epithelium. Okay, and the reason is again she found out it's quicker when you just chuck off the epithelium. If you think about it, would you want all new skin or would you want this weird skin that's had up and down and all that kind of stuff? So it's not a pure case. So the bottom line for the non doctors who are watching this, it's not the um, it's not the mm, whether you put the skin back or not. It's how you take it off, and the more clean you take it off, the quicker the recovery. And that's why there's a difference from PRK, which sucks, to LASIK, which is pretty good, to EPI, which is really amazing. Okay, we're the only EPI machine in the Northeast, and that, that explains that procedure. All right, everyone. So thanks again to Dr. Chin, and uh, we're here at Park Avenue LASIK at 102 East 25th Street off of Park Avenue South. For more questions or to schedule your own free consultation, check us out at parkavenuelasek.com or parkavenuesafesite.com.